Hey there stampers and welcome to another Step It Up video. Uh, today we are going to do the Christmas lineup. I love these um, stamps. I don't know if you have or you've seen these Christmas lineup stamps, but they just crack me up, the expressions on their face. So um, I, I wanted to do a Step It Up card. So this is a pretty simple one. And the most difficult detail is of course um, my aqua painting technique, but you can just use a straight marker on this or you can uh, do the dry aqua painter like I do. Um, so this, let me show you the cards and then we'll get started. I'm sorry, I'm rambling on again like I always do. <laughs> so here's the level one card. This is the level two card and the level three card. And the big difference on the level three, I embossed this. I did a lot of work on this and this is not my favorite. Actually, I like the level two and I would probably just add ribbon to this one and that's the card I'd use. But I never know where I'm going when I start these. So you may like it. So let me just show you what I did. The The first card, the level one card, is just a real red card base, eight and a half by five and a half, folded at four and a quarter to make the base. And then this is from the Celebrations paper pack. And I love it because it has the red and green and you don't necessarily think of it for Christmas, but it works really well. And all I did, I used the holiday lineup and then this is from all holidays and I stamped the image using Versamark and then I colored it I'll show you what I do I'll show you briefly but there is another uh, video out on this technique that I do I just put a little ink using markers on a palette and for the level one card I only used the colors that were in the paper so the real red, the bashful blue, the old olive, and then I do grab the blushing bride for the skin. And I water that down. Anyway, so I have an aqua painter that is empty. It's a dirty aqua painter because I've been using it. Um, and I don't have any water in the barrel. I keep it empty and I use this little medicine cup with water in it. And I squeeze it out. You don't want it too wet because then it blurs like a watercolor would. And we want it to flow sort of um, just nicely blending the colors so you don't have any marks where you... Um... Oh, I did use a little gray on his beard. But anyway, I'll just show you briefly what I do. So I'll start with the green. And I start on the striped hat. Oh, I need glasses. My... Uh... 44 year old eyes needs glasses when I do this. So I just go ahead and paint. And you can see I started over where the color would be darker naturally because it's behind something and then just pulled it out. And I would probably stay with the green, skip two colors, one, two, two stripes, and then do the same and do all the green that I'm going to do and I'll go through the whole image doing that. But you get the idea. So you just cut, you can use straight markers or not. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, um, so you go through and you color the, the image however you want. And then I simply just, I put the one piece of designer series paper down. I matted it in real red and I stamped the Merry Christmas using Versamark. No, not Versamark, um, Stays On. I use black Stays On when I do my aqua painter. And it's as simple as that. Really simple card, but it's very cute. The level two, my favorite, um, I added, so I have the, um, oh, here's my piece, silly me. Level two, I took the, the card base, the piece of paper, and then I added the dots from the same designer series paper pack celebrations and I just expanded it like that this time on the coloring I did the same type of coloring but I did add in the uh, Pacific point because it's in the color so I added that in and then as a final touch I don't know if you can see that I took some two-way glue and some dazzling diamonds just for the little balls of their hats and then instead of up here with the sentiment I stamped it down here this one's my favorite I think I would add maybe the second green um, 
mat and the ribbon and that would be my my fancy dancy card kind of just do this put this on here and um, add the ribbon and pop it up and call it good because I think it's it's kind of cute like that but that's not what I did <laughs> so let me show you what I did do I went a little crazy I started with this card and I thought ooh this will be really neat I I stamped this image onto this paper and I don't know if you can see it but like a nut job I cut out each individual hat that I stamped on the polka dots. It's kind of probably a subtle detail that it's hard to see. So instead of painting it with my aqua painter, I cut each little embossed hat out and it has the polka dots. Can you see it's kind of cute? And then I added the same little um, two-way glue and dazzling diamonds to the tips of the hats. And then I just painted the little elves. When you emboss them, it gives them a little you know, a 3D effect, but it also kind of makes the detail of their eyes a little funny, I think. But anyway, that's level three card, and it, it really is as simple as um, the card base, a piece of old olive uh, mat, then the two sheets of designer series paper. Oh, this one already stuck down. And then I added um, some red, real red taffeta ribbon to this to kind of tie it all together, give it a little pinch of red. Uh, the real red taffeta ribbon. Woohoo, my, my dog ate my spool. Save the ribbon, but. And then, so you just make a cute little bowl. And then I did, mat I matted this again in the old olive to, you know, reflect what I've already done on the level three card, the step three card. And then I popped it up with dimensionals and did the, Merry Christmas in uh, Stays On Black. And that's it. So, I don't know if you, <laughs> you're crazy enough to try what I did with the hats. Um, you could do both. You could, em you could emboss the hats on the polka dots, cut them out, but then just stamp the image uh, with Stays On and paint the guys and then do the hats. And that might work out better. I'd love to hear what you do if you go ahead and try this. Um, it wasn't uh, very hard to cut these out, so I don't want to make it sound like it was some big, you know, horrific ordeal. It wasn't. It was kind of fun, and I was watching a movie, so it's not that big a deal. So this is our level three, level two, and step one, step one, step two, step three. And I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. I'm enjoying making all these cards for Christmas. And uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. Have a good one. Bye.